Hello friends, welcome to Let's Treat Accountancy. Till now we have calculated very interesting ratios in our previous sessions. In our last session, we had asked you a question. How many days company can incur its all expenses and carry on normal business operations from cash balance available with it? Are you able to find the answer? Let's see how this can be calculated. This can be calculated very easily with the help of defensive interval ratio. Now you might be wondering what is defensive interval ratio? So defensive interval is a ratio that measures the number of days a company can operate without having access to non-current assets, any long-term assets or any other financial resources. So let's first look at the formula. Defensive interval ratio DIR is equal to liquid assets or quick assets divided by daily operating expenses. Now what are the liquid or quick assets? As already discussed in quick ratio session, these are current assets that can be converted into liquidity quickly that is current assets minus inventories minus prepaid expenses or we can say that cash plus marketable securities plus trade receivables. So that is the numerator part of the ratio. Now let's look at the denominator. The easy way to find out average daily operating expenses is to first add cost of goods sold and annual operating expenses and then from that deduct depreciation and other non-cash expenditures. Then finally divide the figure by number of days in a year to find out average daily expenditure. Now let's understand this with an example. Assuming for company A cost of goods sold is 8 lakhs and cash operating expenses that is after deducting non-cash expenses is 6 lakhs. Dividing this 14 lakhs by 365 days a year we get daily cash requirement of 3836. Now from this when we calculate defensive interval ratio by dividing quick assets that is debtors, cash and bank balance and marketable securities by daily operating expense of 3836 we get the ratio of 394 days. Similarly for company B assuming cost of goods sold is 6 lakhs and cash operating expenses of 4,50,000 dividing it with 365 days, we get daily cash requirement of 2,877 and defensive interval ratio is 156 days. So we can notice that company A can take care of 394 days of cash operating expenses obligation while company B can take care of 156 days of expenses without having access to non-current assets. We can notice that company will have more defense power if asset test ratio is better. This calculation is based on assumption that if there is no new revenue comes then how many days company can survive meeting all cash obligations? As the name suggests this is like calculating basic defense cover. Defensive interval ratio is considered to be the best liquidity ratio by many financial analysts. In the case of defensive interval ratio, the current assets are not compared to current liabilities, rather they are compared to expenses. Thus, DIR is able to produce almost an accurate result about the liquidity position of the company. If the DIR is more in terms of days, it is considered healthy for company and if the DIR is less, then it needs to be improve its liquidity. So we hope that you understood this ratio very well. Please note that we also need to look at events occurring after balance sheet date. Sometimes ratio may get distorted due to last minute big purchase delay in receipt of payment from debtors etc but the ratio may get normal very next day. So the result from ratio analysis need to be considered very judiciously. 
Don't jump to some conclusion if results of some ratio analysis is bad. Try to get proper explanation from management of company to take informed decisions. In our next session, we will see our last liquidity ratio and also the combined analysis of all five liquidity ratio. So tune in to us and don't forget to press the bell icon. Till then, keep watching, keep learning. Thank you.